Martin, mask. It's nice to see a layout at one of these shows that isn't finished and looking wonderful. I'm sure it's going to look wonderful when it mm -hmm. is finished, but it's very definitely under construction, isn't it? Oh, yes. Um, Malcolm Priestman invited me to the show and asked me to bring the layout as an unfinished um, or in under construction layout so people could see uh, how the layout was put together. Um, and because um, I, I think uh, when we see um, completed layouts, um, one just doesn't realise the amount of time and effort that goes into them, you know, as a member of the no, general there, public. There is a lot of work goes into it. I, I've been building this layout for a year now and I've constructed it all purely myself, so um, there is a lot of work. I've put a lot of time into it. Um, and when you say all yourself, you mean everything, don't you? Yes, including ev the rolling stock. Everything, the rolling stock, I've built the rolling stock and everything myself. Although the rolling stock I started a, a little bit earlier, I've, uh, I usually spend my winter months um, evenings building rolling stock um, uh, and uh, locomotives and and also figures and things like that. What, what, uh, what's the anticipated finish time then, do you reckon? Oh, it's very difficult to put a, a time on that. Um, I'm looking at the future. I might, I, I would probably keep modelling it for the next ten years. But, yeah. Uh, for for the scenic side of it, um, at least two years, I would think to to, to really make it presentable. Okay. Uh, fully well, we, we look forward to seeing it in, in perhaps a couple of years. Yes. Uh, um, out on the set. And I don't know whether it's. Um, because it's a layout under construction, or whether it's the first thing that hits you when you come through the door, but it certainly attracted a lot of attention today. Oh, it? thank you very much.
Ian, I've uh, seen Greek, uh, I've seen Japanese, and now I'm looking at Swiss. And very nice it is too. You've gone tall. What was the inspiration? Mountains, obviously. Yes, that's exactly it. Yeah. Our, our, our other big Swiss layout is built at 45 degrees, and uh, we decided we want to do something just a bit more height to it, so that's what we've done. Right, the, the, uh, the, the rack parts of the railways, it's all one continuous line, isn't it? It mm. spirals around yes. the back yes. and takes the trains up and down. That's right. But uh, the steep gradients, has that given you any problems? Many problems. <laughs> Too many problems, right. really. Yes. Such as? Well, the, the biggest problem is, is that um, you've got to sort out uh, joints for the rack where your baseboards meet. Yeah. And it's uh, not easy to uh, get the alignment sorted and make sure that the gears mesh properly as the trains are going over the joints. You've managed to have you managed to circumnavigate it now? I mean, it's worked here today, yeah, hasn't more it? More or less. Yeah, yeah. but has, has that been sort of a lot of trial and error? It has, a lot of trial and error. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's nice. I mean, you know, what, what are we looking at? A lot of plaster here. Well, it's mostly um, polystyrene underneath. Right. And uh, yeah, plaster on top. Yeah. And sculpted, so it's not actually that heavy, is it? No, it's not too bad. And no. um, although it looks very uh, intimidating, uh, presumably it's fairly mobile, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It splits down the middle, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it a van job? Oh, yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for making it, and uh, <laughs> we, we look forward to seeing it again on the circuit. Yeah, well, that's nice. <laughs>
inside and I've been to Japan in the winter, I've been to Greece in the summer, Germany and Switzerland, so why not finish with a bit of British railways? And yep. you're very firmly with that, with this layout, aren't yes, you? Yes, indeed we are, yes. Um, yeah. Set in the North northeast. East. Yes. And uh, Seven Mill. What, what, what's the story behind this layout? Well, it's a fictitious branch line set in, as I say, in the northeast oh. of England, um, built by club members so that we can exhibit it around local exhibitions. Right. Yeah. And um, as a club, you've struggled for space, haven't you? Very much so, yes. We're in the museum in Darlington at the moment. But right. We've, we haven't really got enough space to put layouts out to operate every night, so you know, we're hoping to get bigger premises so that you can at least put layouts up and operate them. Yeah, I mean, that's, well, you know, one of the joys of modern Well, it is, yes. It? Yeah, so, so far, you've had to rely on... This is, like, one of the few occasions when you can... Well, yes. Exhibi suppose, exhibitions like this, yes. I suppose you're trying to get yourself in as many exhibitions as well, possible, Well, yes. You? Yes, yeah. you, you're trying to, you know. We're going another couple this year, but... You know. Well, um, have you enjoyed the exhibition this weekend? Is, yes, it's it been, been very a good. pleasure to run the layout, oh, yes. given yes. no problems. No problems really at all. Well, we're, no. glad, you, we're glad you and the rest fellow uh, club members made the effort, and good. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and so did we. Thank you right. very much. Thank you. There we go, a fantastic exhibition. Thank you very much to Malcolm Priestman who organised it. And did we prefer going to that rather than sitting on the beach and ogling a load of women? Yeah. We'll, we'll see you on the next week in return. Bye.